Hello everybody, I'm Kyle from the VVOX support team. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can convert existing polling slides in PowerPoint to VVOX polling slides. So to start with, you're going to want to head to the slide that you would like to convert to a VVOX slide. As you can see here, I've got my polling slide and I've got a graph here as well. So what you're going to want to do is select the graph and delete it, as this will only get in the way of the VVOX graphs that are added later on. Now we can head up to convert to poll, make sure that multi-choice is selected, make sure that you're happy with your question or title, you can go ahead and delete any numbers or A, B or whatever might have been used by the previous polling software. It is also important to make sure that you select your correct answer as this will not be pulled over from any previous software that you may have used. So I'm going to click select answer here and then click London and then just click add down here. And as you can see, it's been converted to a VVOX polling slide. Now, converting a VVOX legacy add-in poll to the new VVOX add-in is very easy. To do this, once you've got your poll open like this, make sure you go to the VVOX add-in once again, log in. So I'm just gonna log in with my Microsoft account here. And then make sure you select the session that you would like to have the poll go into. There we go, mine is called Convert Slides. Click Connect. As you can see, it's connected to the session. You've got the session ID at the top there. We then go ahead and run the session down the bottom, providing that you have started the session in the VBOX dashboard. Once you've run it, just skip through it as quickly as possible. Wait for it to close. Perfect, that's a quick answer. Excellent, end of the slideshow. So now that we've run through it like that, what that will do is it will have pushed it over into the VVOX dashboard, ready to be added in the new version of the add-in. So if we delete this slide here, head to home, head over to the right-hand side where you've got insert poll, you'll see that we've got the poll here already, ready to be added in. So if I click add, there we are. You can see it's all been shot in there very well. And we are now ready to ready to run it, which is perfect. So you can do this with as many questions as you want. You can do them all in the same PowerPoint if you need to. Just run through them all, and then they'll all appear in the session, and then you can just add them in using the new add-in. That is everything for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll speak to you soon. Thank you.